What's up guys? I'm Ashton with Palmer's Powders and this is my 2023 Suron Light EX. Uh, I'm doing this video to let you guys know you shouldn't buy one of these because that's why. Too much money. So I'm going to give you a lowdown on what went into this, what we put onto it, how much money I've probably spent or want to forget I've spent. And at the end of the day, should I have just gone and bought a gas bike? I mean, that's probably a no-brainer, but these things are fun and they're pretty sick. So uh, buckle up and we'll show you what we did. All right, so starting up top, we did the Fat Bar 35 from Renthal, the Renthal stem on a prickly riser, coated to match the rest of the scheme of the bike. The riser and the light mount are coated for the Baja Designs S2 Pro, ODI plate, Fox 40 floats. This will kind of get into more of my powder coating. I uh, powder coated the uppers to these forks and then coated the lowers. But with this powder coat color, we uh, we just blasted it and then cleared it with Casper, Casper Clear from Prismatic Powders and then the Matte Clear from Cerakote to match up with the frame. So going on down, we got the Groundskeepers Customs, pr custom printed fin uh, fenders. Put my little 316 and my AP there. Uh, coming down to the wheel, Warp 9 wheel, wrapped in Dunlop MX-53s, Hope Rotor with Hayes Dominions in purple, super delicious. Making our way back, to the star of the show is this TC500. Man, this controller is super plug and play friendly all the way to the app and back, uh, plugging it into the bike, getting it all set up, super awesome. Uh, little prickly air tag holder, more trick stuff. Coming down into the SXS slide plate, that thing is super awesome and uh, I would say a must have if you like to ride trails. I uh, got the Puget Sound Motorsports cover with uh, Warp 9 chain drive. Warp 9 pegs that have kind of seen better days. And then up top, we got the uh, Puget Sound Motorsports ignition cover, fun parts, carbon lid, gut seat, super rad. Uh, white back fender. Took me a while to find that white back fender, I will add. And cruising on down, we got some more fun parts. A little carbon fiber, I like to call this little duck bill. Uh, yeah, goodies. Goodies, goodies, goodies. Uh, coated the spring, just blasted flat clear, as well as we went in and coated the jack shaft to... Uh, show our number as well that's all an illusion violet to match my sweet prickly linkage um, we got a little warp nine brace down there and coming to the back wheel we got a 16 inch warp nine wrapped in dunlop mx53s same as up front with the Hayes dominions uh, on a hope rotor and then other side, Warp 9 Sprocket, EK Chain. What else can we say about this bad girl? Other than, yeah, sheesh. Went in and coated some of the bolts, purple to match all this other purple. And then all my other bolts are color changing as well as foot peg mounts, little coated spring action. We just went over overboard on this thing. And uh, yeah, that's my 2023 Suron Light VX. Coated by Palmer's Powders. All right, well, I guess you're probably wondering how much we have into it. Um, I don't really know, nor do I really wanna keep track. A lot of money is what I have into it. I want to say upwards of over eight grand, considering everything done to it, including my time and powder coating everything. Um, 
as well as you know accumulating the parts and putting it all together so too much money that's how much money i've spent so my first initial impressions on the torque are kind of blown away this is my first e-bike build um, i don't really know what to expect other than experience and i rode a lot on the stock battery with these wheels basically this whole setup just wasn't painted like this um, all last summer and it was pretty gutless and then we put the the torque on there with the stock battery and even pushing seven and a half kilowatts or whatever it was that it would allow me on the 40 amp uh, this is an insane change in just how the, the motor rolls on and how much everything is smoother with the torque controller on the stock battery. But with that being said, I went and got a 72 volt um, chai battery and after that, it's, it's game changer. Like the amount of power and overall, I would say control of what these things are really capable of, that unlocks it a big amount. <laughs> But uh, overall, I would say the Torque is super easy. Uh, installation, super easy. Uh, setup is easy. Being able to tune and make the motor do what you want it, want it to do or what the bike really, what you want it to do, you can really kind of pinpoint it to that point. And that's awesome, especially just for, for people that aren't as hip to uh, what this technology can do. Uh, downfalls of buying a Suron. It's a rabbit hole. Um, you think you're done and then you're like, ooh, more goodies. Uh, should I have just bought a gas bike? Should I have just bought a gas bike? Probably, but at the end of the day, I gotta share this with my son and that's the coolest point for me is it's instant access. I can basically kind of ride it anywhere within means respectfully and do it with my son. So it's like I can make a trick and stable enough for me to ride and have fun and get down on it as well as putting my son on it knowing it's safe and <laughs> well capable of doing stuff that I can't even do on it yet. So that's why I bought a Saron.